hello guys welcome again to another tutorial um, in this lesson we are going to talk about uh, viewport settings framing and hiding or unhiding objects um, first let's talk with uh, some viewport settings that i think will improve your experience when navigating in this uh, 3d viewport okay and the first one that i want to show you is this one over here you can go to your preferences menu under the navigation tab you have an option where it says orbit around selection okay by default if you use your um, your mouse wheel to to rotate or to orbit in your scene uh, no matter what object you have selected you are always orbiting around the center of the 3d world okay as you can see that's not a big thing uh, you can have any object selected but uh, I can change it just go here to preferences navigation and activate that option and now I have the cube selected I am orbiting uh, around the cube you probably won't see any difference because the cube is in the center of the world but if I select the light, for example, now I am orbiting around the light. If I select the camera, now I am orbiting around the camera. Okay. Another option that I think is useful is, for example, if you rotate your mouse wheel to zoom in or out, okay, um, you can left your mouse cursor in any part of the screen that you are always zooming according to the center of the world well we can change that also just go here to the same menu preferences navigation and zoom to mouse position now if you zoom in or out it will zoom according to your mouse position okay those two options can be useful in the future <coughs> but that's up to you if you are going to use it or not um, you will create your own methods so for me and for this tutorial i am not going to use them another thing that i need you to know is um, what is focal length and what is clip start and clip end if you press N to open this menu over here on the right side of the screen I have told you how you can do this by press the N key or by clicking on this little arrow over there you have see that under the view tab you have three options focal length clip start and clip end okay Focal length basically is how high is the angle of view um, just like a camera. If you know a little bit about uh, photography, you may know what is this. But uh, basically, if you decrease this value over here, okay, you will get a wide field of view, but you will get also more distortion. Um, if you pay attention to the grid lines, those grid lines over here, if I decrease the value, they will get more distorted, okay? If I increase the value, you will get a narrow field, okay? A narrow field of view, but you will get less distortion. Basically, I usually work with 50, okay? Now let's talk about the clip start and the clip end. Oh, basically clip start and end are very useful when we have a complex scene, a complex scene, and we want to reduce uh, the workloads or the um, the performance. Okay, or we want to increase uh, our performance because Blender will only show the objects that are between those two values. For example, if I change here 1000 meters to 30 meters, sorry, 
as you can see behind this point i am not seeing anything and if i continue to decrease the value even the cube is start to disappear okay for clip start well is basically the same but for the other side for now we can just use the default values just click with the right click of the mouse and reset to the fault value reset to the fault value but i hope that you have understood these two options later they can be useful to you okay now let's hide the menu and let's talk about framing okay what is framing framing is basically the way of making uh, the viewport to focus on certain objects for example imagine that we have multiple obje objects on the scene i am going to create a few you don't need to know this i will explain to you in the next lesson okay imagine that you have a lot of objects and you want to show okay all the objects and center them on the scene for that you just need to press on the home key okay and as you can see now i have all the objects centered on the screen you may use the menu over here also view frame all if you want to center your scene or to focus on a selected object you just need to make sure that you have the object selected and use your numpad dot key okay and now i have focus on that object you can use the menu also and as you can see you have frame selected and you have the shortcut over here which is the dot key on your numpad okay uh, that's very important okay because we are going to to use this a lot and imagine that you are working a few hours in uh, in your scene and you may notice that your zoom or your rotation is getting too slow is getting too weird if you press your home key you will correct that okay you will uh, uh basically you will reset um that that options uh the next part of this tutorial is to show you how you can hide or unhide objects okay you have three ways you have lots of ways but i am going to show you three okay the first one is to use the outliner for example if you have the cube selected and if you click on this eye over here the cube is no longer visible on our scene if you click again it will become visible okay uh, the second method is to use the hotkeys you can select the object and you can press the h key okay to show you just need to press alt h okay but please pay attention because alt h will show all objects that you have hidden okay if you for example have this object selected and you want to hide all the other ones except this one you can press shift and h okay and to show them alt H. you can use the menu over here go to the object menu and in this uh, tab over here you have show hidden options hidden objects okay with the shortcut that I, that I have told you alt h you have the option to hide selected object with h and you have the option to hide unselected shift plus h okay the last thing that uh, i wanted to know is uh, very important also 
um, which is called the local view okay in other softwares uh, you may may call it the isolation mode but in blender it's the local view basically the local view allow us to to select an object and isolate uh, our view uh, remove all the objects from the scene isolate all view just to view that object and for that make sure that you have your object selected and click on the forward slash on your numpad okay and now if you look at the, the top left of the screen you can see that it says local you can rotate your object okay and you have probably noticed that now we are not seeing anything on the scene besides this object okay to exit you just need to press the forward slash again and you are on the first view that's it um, I think that you should practice this those things can be useful to you later or not that will depend on the techniques that you decide to use I hope that you have liked it um, and if you like my channel please subscribe it I hope to see you soon uh, for other tutorials thanks a lot